ready to fight? Ready. Let's go. Well, if you talk to Israel Adesanya, he'll tell you, I don't force the finish. I like to let it come to me, and that is certainly what happened in his UFC debut. But one thing to keep an eye out for is the takedown defense, because everybody is shooting at those legs of Adesanya, and more often than not, they haven't been able to keep him down consistently. So Adesanya has worked hard on that realm of his game, and let's see if the takedown defense holds up yet again today. Israel Adesanya going for the body. Missed with that kick. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Great job finding that nasty shot from the clinch position. So look at that, a cut has been opened around that eye area. He's taking shots over and over again to that area, and now he's dealing with a cut. Oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. All right, so we have got a full-on brawl to start this fight. Any concern that these guys might burn themselves up? Oh, they're going to exhaust themselves. So we may as well enjoy it right now, because come the third round, regardless of the weight class, they're going to look like two tired heavyweights in the middle of the octagon. John now starting to show signs of swelling. Just over three minutes to go, round one. Holland strike attempt there is blocked. Woo. Israel out of Sonny. I don't even know what that was, but it certainly looked pretty, DC. This man brings so many different things to the table as a striker, and I would think would be a very difficult guy for his fellow middleweight contenders to prepare for. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. Spinning back fist. 36 total strikes have now landed for the last style bender, Israel Adesanya. Good body shot there. All right, well, the strike lands there, so he did hit the desired target, but it almost looked like slow motion to me. Yeah, he's moving in slow motion. He's throwing everything at his opponent, and he couldn't get him out of there. Now it's just a matter of trying to survive. Not get knocked out of And again, dealing with that cut around his eye. Got to be careful. He's got to shore up to the fence, because if he keeps getting hit there, it's only going to continue to get worse. Right on the button. Under two minutes to go. Nice kick landed there by Hall. Oh, nice right hand, John. Just out of range with that kick attempt. Well, no denying the durability on the other side, but at this point, you just got to find that kill shot and get him out of there. A lot of times that comes with reps. That comes with taking your time. You get excited, and you want to finish it because you think it's right there, but at times you just overswim and you miss a lot. He needs to slow down if he wants to get his opponent out of this fight. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Lands the sidekick now. Oh, nice. Nice. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Oh, he's doing it. Look at that. He can't even stand. Twenty seconds to go in round one. Well, now you see some visible damage on the side underneath the elbow. He told us he was going to invest in the body, and he hasn't missed a whole lot tonight. You didn't expect him to do it. Yeah! Oh, oh. Might get the 
TKO here. Uh, what a uh, round. How good was that? All right, so the round is over, but not before damage was done. Cut on the cheek, sustained in that round. Cut man in there quickly as usual to try to seal it up. All right, so a big round for him there, maybe even a 10-8. There was a big knockdown in there, courtesy of the kick. DC, talk us through it. He found his spot. I mean, he knew that there was a weakness. He found the spot. He recognized an opportunity to go and chase down that head kick. He threw it, it landed, and he almost got the finish. You ready to fight? Ready. Do All right, here we go with round two. Big, big strikes continue to land. All right, rubber guard for him now, DC. We haven't seen you lean on this, Neil. No, I, I can't get those <laughs> legs up there. Come on, man, look at these tree trunks. They don't go up around nobody's shoulders. I like to keep my feet on the ground, and I like to grind. That's what I'm known for. But this guy has that dexterity. He has that ability to throw up the rubber guard, to be able to threaten from a position where his opponent was trying to find safety. There are many, many attacks here. Let's see which one he chooses to go at. Well, no surprise there as he lets his opponent stand back up. Oh! Goes down again! Oh, continuing to attack the head as that diving punch lands. Defense to block that punch. All right, so some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. A lot of strikes to the body starting to starting to add up. Yeah, a lot of strikes to the body and mixing up the attack, not being one-dimensional, not headhunting inside the octagon. I, I think he has fought beautifully right now. He's starting to show itself. Ooh, big knee. Well, no feeling out process tonight. Both fighters invoking damage on the other DC. Yes, we knew this would be very competitive. We knew that this was a tough fight. We knew that both guys would be very evenly matched. Wow! Just over three minutes now to go. Well, no denying that he rocked him, but couldn't quite get the finish. He hurt him real bad, but he couldn't find the shot that would put him to sleep. He threw a lot of punches, but he couldn't get the one to land on the butt that was in the night. All right, so now his body language really starting to change, and the bruises starting to accumulate on that side. I mean, oh, my goodness. I mean, you got to be kidding me with that knockout. If that is not the number one play on Sports Center tonight, I'm not sure what would top it. One of the best knockouts we've seen all year. In a very long time. I have not seen someone look this good. He promised us something, and he delivered with that beautiful knockout. We send it inside the octagon. Oh, it's crazy when they ain't got no idea what you've been through. Just to get to where you going. Fuck them. Day after day trying to stay out the way, but I still got to pray because I feel like I'm falling. I reach out to God trying to...